Uh, vSphere is a cloud operating system, and we call it an operating system because it does two tasks that all of them do. It manages hardware on one side, and kind of looking upwards, it's providing services for applications. Um, the difference is that we're doing it in a very disruptive way uh, that's bringing new levels of efficiency to the user. So on the hardware side, uh, we aggregate the collection of CPUs and memory and storage and network that you have, and we add value and, and do things in interesting ways with our partners. A couple of good examples are that we work with Intel and AMD to allow the motion, the V-motion of virtual machines between different families of processors. On the storage side, we're working to deliver thin provisioning, which is a capability of really saving on the disk space that you use. And on the networking side, we've announced um, some very interesting developments with Cisco, where we're allowing traditional network administrators to be able to work with their hardware in a fully virtualized data center in a very useful way. Um, on the other side, in terms of providing services to applications, this is where we've really done some exciting things. Uh, we've always tried to bring levels of availability and performance and also security upwards to virtual machines running on vSphere in very interesting ways. So we'll be doing a few things, such as fault tolerance, which is an incredibly interesting way to make sure that applications keep running when the hardware goes down. Uh, vShield Zones is another exciting capability on the application-facing side, where we're able to provide inline firewall and other forms of protection with our partners to make sure that your applications are more secure when run on vSphere than when run on physical hardware. 